What up, YouTube? This is the man seven four three one coming back with another video, and I just want to throw this disclaimer out there. Um, you're not gonna hear any audio in this video because I did something very very dumb. I should have bought me a microphone for my gaming capturing card, and I didn't. So what had happened was I was capturing video from the computer and I was using my phone as an audio capturing device and when you mash all of those together it, it was just horrible so I was up late last night trying to get everything synced and matched and that just became a nightmare so what I ended up doing was just deleting the audio so I'm just kind of talking over the video even though, you know, you guys are seeing parts of the video before I'm able to actually talk about them, but it's all good. I just wanted to just let you guys know what was going on. But anyway, let me go ahead and get started. I've had a lot of people that look at my um, HP Stream Mini Upgrades video. And I got a lot of comments from a lot of people asking me, um, can the HP stream play 4K video? And I'm going to show you guys this in this video. Um, another question that I got is, can it play games? Now, I just want to let you guys know that I only have a Super NES emulator on here. Um, I tried to download other um, powerful emulators, but there was just a whole lot of headache trying to download them. Um, a lot of those emulators, you know, as you download them, had viruses once you opened them up. Um, a lot of them had a million steps you had to go through just to put, you know, the games on them. And it was just a headache. So um, I didn't get the PlayStation 2 or I didn't get the um, Dreamcast emulators it was just too much of a headache if you guys know easier and faster ways on how to get these emulators and to get the games into the emulators drop me a comment down below in this video that way I'll do another video I'll have the mic by then and then we'll be able to do it the right way as far as me talking and the video is synced along with the audio, okay? Uh, what else? Um, another thing, um, I'm going to be showing you guys, which you probably already seen, um, the specs um, when this video first started on the true 8 gigs of RAM that I have on this computer. A lot of people um, have had problems when they put their 8 gigs of RAM in the computer um, it didn't show 8 gigs of RAM, it only showed 4. Or from some people, in some cases, it only showed 3. So, I'm just showing you guys this right now, that mine actually shows 8 gigs. You're going to also see that in the CPU Z-Test. You're going to see the 8 gigs in there as well. Um, I don't know if I just touched on this or not, but um, like I said before, the 8 gigs of RAM does improve the computer experience a whole lot. Now, originally when I had the 2 gigs of RAM, and I wish I had made a video on it the first time, when I tried to play 2K video the video a lot of times wouldn't even play and when it did play it was like super slow it froze up it, it, it was just a nightmare but as you've seen in this video it ran through smooth like butter I wish I could have had the audio with this but like I told you before I couldn't match everything up because you know I captured the video with the game capturing card and then I recorded the audio separately so 
everything wasn't even synced, so that was a nightmare. Um, I noticed, you know, surfing web pages and stuff was a whole lot faster. Um, watching videos loaded up a lot quicker um, because the increased RAM. Um, the, the Mario games, um, I actually, the Super NES games, I had downloaded an emulator on here before and I noticed that it was a little bit slower when I had the two gigs of RAM in it when I was playing the game. But I notice now with the eight gigs that it runs a lot smoother too, as you guys will see that in the video as well. Um, another thing I want to touch on with you guys is when you buy this computer, if you buy the lower grade version of this computer, it's going to only have 32 gigs on storage, okay? Which means that out of the 32, you're only going to get 14 gigs of memory. I don't think I told you guys that um, in the other videos, but that's all you're going to get is 14 gigs. Now, the Windows 8 operating system takes the rest. So um, um, one of the problems that I was running into was when I would do my video editing and stuff on a computer, you know, and we're talking about pretty big size files. Um, I would always run into, you know, well, you ran out of space and you need to delete stuff from your computer. And a lot of stuff, it wouldn't let you download directly to the hard drive. Like when you're installing programs and stuff like that, you have to automatically install it into the computer, which was a pain in the butt. But if you do decide to get an HP Stream Mini, definitely get you a bigger SSD drive because you're gonna be running into a lot of headaches um, just using the 14 gigs you're going to find yourself deleting a lot of stuff that you don't want just to make room for stuff that you do need or, you know, like for video editing games and stuff like that. So definitely get you a bigger hard drive and uh, you should be OK. But other than that, guys, this is a pretty good computer. If you do get one, upgrade the RAM from two to eight. I guarantee you, you will see a big difference in your computer's performance, get you a bigger hard drive, and you will have a really good running computer. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. Drop me a comment down below. This is the man 7431 signing out, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.